as a homebody like me na hindi mahilig lumabas ng bahay pero gusto gumala, I would highly recommend Sambuanga Peninsula as an ideal getaway. Though Sambuanga is frequently disregarded as a travel destination, but for visitors to this region of the Philippines, it is a stunning province with a wealth of tourist attractions. So first up, Sambuanga City. Sambuanga City is specifically located outside the Typhoon Belt and is surrounded by five of the richest fishing grounds in the Philippines. According to a survey conducted in 2004, Sambuanga is the top commercial marine fish producing region in the Philippines, contributing 16.48% of the nation's total fish production and 37% of the Mindanao's total production. As a result, the city undoubtedly serves fresh and flavorful seafood cuisines. At speaking of fishes and waters, did you know that there is this specific boat that Sambuanga City offers to the tourists to voyage the whole place? It is Vinta, made by Samal Bajau, Tausu, and Yakan people living in Sulu Archipelago, Sambuanga Peninsula, and Southern Mindanao. Vinta are characterized by their colorful rectangular log sails, bifurcated bras, and sterns that resemble the capping mouth of a crocodile. Like, grabe, hindi pa man din tayo nangangaligatian pero busog na ako sa information na merong i-offer si Zamboanga City. Payaman talaga tayo, grabe. And of course, hindi magpapuling kanilang clothing wares. From Isabella de Basilan, Yakan Giving is Waving. It is a textile made by the Yakans, which is made of bright, bold, and often contrasting colors in big symmetrical patterns. Inspiration for designs comes from island living and Islamic sacred geometry. Ay, syempre pagod na din ang indenyo. Kailangan din yan ang lugar para mag -rest. And here we have the cat resort from Zamboanga del Norte. Um, the P, um, the CAC and Villa Angelina also offers a heritage tour because the Pitan was the place where Dr. Herisal was exiled, no? So, nago offer kami ng mga city historical tour sa mga guests namin. We also have river cruise. Kung ang Bohol ay may river cruise, ang the Pitan din ay may river cruise. Wow. Yes. Napakaraming mga uh, pipetig gawin once kayo ay nasa the Pitan or nagsistay kayo in the CAC or sa Wow, the cap is really indeed um, ano, um, extravagant with yeah. it. it, it Pasabo. Yes, probably, sir. Like, everything na lang po offer, you know? Like, kahit ako dun, sir, kahit first time ko pa lang sa Zambu, ano, sa Zambanga del Norte, I would choose the cap. Thank you. So, um, so guys, um, thank you very much, sir. Dancel. So, Dancel. Um, so, guys, Nakikita nyo yun na, the CAC Resort is really indeed um, um, exquisite, so try to check it out. So, hello! <laughs> Imagine, after a long event from the city, we all deserve this civic exuberant paradise featuring the welcome sound of the water beach and as well as the rhythmic sound of the careless trees. Pa paano pumunta? Okay, I got you. By means of air, Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific have daily trips to Dipolog City from Manila. And Cebu Pacific flies to Dipolog City from Cebu Sporting from the airport via bus for a 45-minute trip to the resort. At dahil gumala na nga tayo, panindigan na natin to. Kung ang Zamboanga City ay may yakan river at bayaman sa naman dagat, at ang Zamboanga del Norte naman ay may dakak resort, syempre, hindi magpapatalo ang Zamboanga del Sur na may paglinawan form. The paglinawan form is owned and managed by Miss Jan Christie's de Paglinawan. And to know better, let's hear more about Miss Christie's personal. 
del Sur. Mm -hmm. So Zamboanga del Sur is um, an area like under Del Norte that's uh, a lot of hidden, um, beautiful tourist sites that has been untouched, especially since a lot of before it's um, the stigma behind going to Mindanao and traveling to Mindanao. So currently, um, uh, my farm is located actually in Dumiguet, Zamboanga del Sur. So in Dumiguet, Zamboanga del Sur, we only recently started to get into um, more and push for tourism um, with our uh, waterfalls, with our cultural, and also with um, the farm. So actually, this farm, the Pakinaon Organic Eco Farm, is a 10 hectare farm that uh, showcases organic and agricultural sustainable uh, processes through um, tourism. So we like to promote to um, customers and, and tourists uh, it's kind of to go back into nature and to be one with nature through okay. agriculture. So, so what is the tour spot that you recommend to us? So, so far we have in Dumingag uh, the farm. Then there's a cenote sea of clouds. So it's a basically an overview of a valley where you can see all the clouds underneath. And then there's Salvador, Salvador Falls. So beautiful waterfalls in the city of um, the town of Salvador. And then aside from that, every Friday and Saturday nights we meet. We recently released our night market. So in the night market, it showcases food entrepreneur, um, Kulesa. There's also rides that uh, people can go on and enjoy. So our neighboring towns have been visiting um, Dumingag now as it's become the hub for, for tourism in the area. So, Shempre, a tour phone would not be complete without the food. And what is the best food that you can recommend? So, we have a um, for me, I'm a little biased because, you know, the farm, we actually have a Asian fusion cuisine. Um, our little history is we grew up in Vietnam, so a little bit of our food is mixed with Vietnamese uh, influence. And then aside from that, we, everything is farm to table. So fresh, organic, and it's um, presented in a way that it's not really something that you've ever seen before. Like for example, our colored rice. It's blue, yellow, black, white rice, all organically made from the farm. Ayan, and there we have it. Sobrang worth it talaga ang gala, lalo na fresh and unique ang inihandog sa ating Zamboanga Peninsula. So ano pang inihintay nyo? Tara na mga bestie and let's explore the wonders of Zamboanga Peninsula.